welcome back to another episode of This Square Room. We upload new episodes every single Tuesday, so be sure to tune in and tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, my name is Jonelle. I'm here with Eugene. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you know what? For you, that was quite a... Uh... Hello, you little munchkins. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad you went with that because I was really afraid of what you were about to say for a second. I was going um, maggot spells. Like, that's mean. That is mean. Um, Dazzy D18. I feel like we should call you stutters. Shameless plug. Why? I, plug. I could use some followers. H- it's too late now. I don't want the pity. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I usually will... <laughs> You're right. I do plug Des the most. It's because Des is the thirstiest. Uh, so. That's true. I, am. <laughs> I like attention. I'm just not outward about it. He, okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like it. I never get it. So I, like, I, like <laughs> no. a, I like attention every now and then. You need to stop because when you do get it from the audience, when people are like, oh, Hugh Genius, da 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 da, or like, Hugh is so whatever, and like, it's a nice thing, you're like, mm, I didn't take that as a compliment. Or that's <laughs> no, I, not just, enough no, I for say me. I never get a compliment. Right, but when you get them, you I'm shut shocked. them down. No, because so I'm shocked. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, so, ah. <laughs> well, your reaction, if I were someone writing in and I said something nice about you, your reaction would make me not want to say anything else. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. Um, don't call it my stuttering. I don't know. That, I felt like that intro was like people are laughing at you. It was. It was a little, yeah. it was a little shake. First of all, if they there weren't before, just... they are now. <laughs> I think you Thank said you. shitter earlier. Shitter? I don't know. No, she was trying to say something else and it was just like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, done? Yeah. Now I wish I didn't plug you. Oh, you did. <laughs> um. Well, okay. Here, I'll be happy to crush your dreams. Oh my God. It's not a dream. Not at all. But, um, you you love ginger ale, oh, right? I love. I feel like I feel like ginger ale is a superior pop yeah, soda. Like it is, yeah. right? You agree, it's Hugh? No. Pop. What? Because no? South American ginger ale ruined gin- Canadian ginger ale. Here it doesn't taste. I now I don't even know what I'm drinking half the time. <laughs> this it doesn't does taste, taste like ginger. It's a lot more natural in uh, here. It's just like what? What is this? Canada Dry. It's not. But Canada it's, Dry is still a staple. It's just more sugary than. Um, than in like South America. No, South America, it tastes like ginger. It tastes like what it said. It's more gingery. No, it, it tastes like ginger. <laughs> Here, it, I don't know what I'm eat. I'm drinking. Okay, but still, based no. off of oh my gosh, Hugh. If it was a South American variety, sure. But it's if, still ginger ale, so you it's still not, think it's just thing. It's just a golden shower. What? <laughs> I said what I, I don't, said. I don't like that one. <laughs> That's what it is. This golden. Who knows what this All right, is? The so superior relax. pop is um. I would say like Fanta, orange Fanta. Actually, no, I'm a big sparkling that water person now. That is pure now. high fructose corn syrup. And, and what's you, the Canada Dry? It's a little bit of ginger ale, just because oh. it has less ginger than South America. It doesn't it's have ginger Fanta in it in general. <laughs> or a cr- it, of course it does. It doesn't. I don't know what I'm... It doesn't taste on like ginger. On the bottle, there's a little ginger it, root. There's a lot letting of things. You know. There's no ginger root on the bottle. Yeah. It's just the... Some can of of, it's just the... No, there's a little... Thing. There's a small one. There's a, a small little, one? Yeah. yeah it's something there's, there's barely any ginger right, in Right, but they're shit. still in there, there's so... There's nothing in there. There's this poo-poo in there. <laughs> Anyways. There's rat poop in that shit. Rat poop in your Fanta. <laughs> what do you mean? In your orange crush. Want Wanta Fanta? Don't you want to? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so... This is why I don't use... Because you can't. Yeah. What happened? You spilled? He spills. He spilled all using a straw. How do you Because I'm used to drinking like so a regular he's person. So kind of turning it. And I don't drink out of straws. Why would you tip? <laughs> because I'm a freaking man. I drink out of a can. Why would that you? Rhymed. That was good. That was good. It wasn't good. That was good. Because it rhymed doesn't it mean great. it's good. Don't, it's don't so do that. Fiddly, <laughs> fiddly test. <laughs> Just because who is drinking out of a straw and I don't drink out of a straw because I'm a man. You know what? I'll put cylinders in my mouth. <laughs> what I you said? What? Oh boy! The can is a <laughs> cylinder. You <laughs> dumb nut. Okay, it has a little tip. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where this is so going. So you'll drink out a cylinder has a tip. Yep. You. I said what I said. Okay. All right. What I like is every time he drinks, he puts it down so aggressively, like it's a like a, a pitcher of beer. Oh well. Yeah, but like the point is to like I don't drink not. Beer, though. That's a lie. I drink, but I'm not happy about it. Because <laughs> I know next time I'm going to wake up, I'm like, oh, well, I want to kill myself now. Oh, boy. I wake up, hang on. It barely makes me depressed the next day. So I know if I have one, I'm just like, oh, fuck me. Wine is nice. For me, wine gives me a head buzz, whereas, like, liquor gives me a body buzz, like a body drunk, um, and you feel that the next day because your body's like, why? But um, I don't drink beer, so I don't know. I feel like beer just tastes gross and makes you bloated. It does taste gross and makes you bloated. gross. 
It needs to be paired with something. Like, I think the best combo is, like, beer and ramen is a very good combo. Beer and rum? Ramen. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they all just make me horny, so. What, beer? Beer and Beer's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're okay. rubbing alcohol. Oh, no, wine. Oh. Like, red wine. What the fuck? <laughs> You just rub some rubbing alcohol that burns your eyes. <laughs> no, red wine's good to have because it's an aphrodisiac. Uh, they all make me horny. That's all I know. Oh, uh, okay. That's weird. <laughs> he just said rubbing all alcohol. Of that, yeah, all of them. I don't know. That beer kills my pee pee. Oh, really? Yeah. Like any anything. Just, like whiskey is, dip, yeah, like but it's say goodbye. Version? And when I sip the beer, I'm like, yeah. there goes my beer. 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 Lost my lighter. There goes my beer. <laughs> Do you feel like uh, Magnum works? A the drink? Own. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What's a man yeah. drink? Um, it's like an alcoholic drink. It's like a Jamaican thing, and it tastes oh, like black licorice. Oh, that's what you think it tastes like? I think it tastes like... Um, Isn't it for your pee-pee? In general. It's just supposed to like make you horny. It's not for your pee-pee. Oh, it's not, I saw them. I, uh, that was in my house for years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no. It, they weren't using no, it. No, no. your brother. Hey, it was my brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it was my parents. I know they weren't using it. Um, <laughs> okay, don't out them like that. To me, it tastes like Robitussin. I've never. I, I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> I hate you. Um, so it's meant for your pee pee. Does it work? It's just meant to get you thing. But I've, you, I've had a couple, it, and it, I don't think it. No. I uh, yes. But it's also it, me. So. Yeah, that's why, that's, <laughs> what, that's why I'm actually. Nice. Look, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't. Yeah. You're not even looking at me. Oh, no, and that's that makes why, me feel it's, hey, it's, uh, it's not, you, guys, I am a sexual being. Okay? Not from when you listen to this podcast. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but. <laughs> I Could can you, be any any human being can be a sexual being. They can being. be. Yeah, right, so I can, can be. be. <laughs> so does it work? Uh, it, it was depends. in my house for years. It depends. For some people, they'll say yes. Some people will say no. I feel like you just it's have to be like, a naturally horny person already. Yeah, it's not like if you drink it, you're just like. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I think it's no. more of a placebo. My thing, penis honestly. is hard. No, you do. You do <sighs> feel a little. Sorry to my neighbors. <laughs> feel a little difference because I I had a bottle one time before I did. Isn't some it stuff. like a small bottle? Yeah. yeah. They sell it here? Yeah. Mm. But it's very expensive here. They sell How them here? Expensive? Yeah. Mm. Um, I would never buy them here, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Like, when somebody travels, they always bring me up yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or bring me up some roots. Just take and, some red ginseng, man. Or some ashwa... Uh, ashwa... Fucking ashwagandha. <laughs> it's the Peruvian one? No, that's maca. Or just take some Viagra. That too. Well, that, but, yeah, but if you want like, the Or more... just pray and go to sleep. <laughs> no, but if you want like the uh, red wine's a good aphrodisiac. Yeah, it it is. It is it's proven <laughs> after. I'm so, trying to help out the you're viewers. You're staring here. at me while you're saying no, it. No, though. We're not. We're, look, this is not like <laughs> fucking couple episodes again, like before. This is. I'm trying to help each other out here, bud. Oh, this is not. No, like I scratch your back. No, you I'm not scratching no one's back. We're just I'm just trying to help. Exchanging you. information. Yes, ashwagandha is an aphrodisiac. This is both good for both men and women, by the way. Ashwagandha, everyone knows red ginseng. Uh, maca, that's a Peruvian shit. That's the only one. Zinc, zinc's actually an aphrodisiac too. Uh, I don't even know what. Okay. Every time I take zinc, I was like, my dick gets so hard. So is watermelon <laughs> yeah, and watermelon. ginger. Ginger is. Yeah. And watermelon. And head. Getting head will definitely help. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. Omega three, omega three fats. It's good for your pee pee too. Okay. Anyways, we're I'm not trying to help the, the people. Of, yeah. Good. Wait, wait, wait. What did that have to do with ginger ale? Well, that's what I'm trying to get back oh. to. Ginger will make your dick hard? No. Since there's ginger in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Barely any, but, you know, maybe a, little, maybe a little bone. Well, Des is a lover of ginger ale, so I just wanted to, you know, since you came for me, I wanted to ruin your your day and let you know that most restaurants, when they run out of ginger ale, which is often, they just do um, Sprite with a splash of Coke, and most people can't tell the oh, difference. Oh, I definitely can. You can tell yeah, when restaurants do that? Yeah, I've, like, I've gotten ginger ale, and I was like... You're yes, like, this tastes this, off. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had, like, Schweppes? Schweppes? Yeah, the Schweppes. Ta- I can taste the difference between yeah, Canada Dry. Canada Dry is the superior yeah, one. Definitely. Schweppes will do. Yeah. It's still better than... But, like, I've been to restaurants, and, like, you're just like, okay, like, it's off, but, like, you just drink it, mm. and, like, now I understand why. I just thought it's, like, you know, like, different, like, fountain machines yeah, have different, different things, yeah. and, like, I've... I remember one time, this is years ago, but I will never forget it. I went, it was McDonald's. I got a Sprite and that shit tasted like vinegar. It was like their machine. I don't know. Mm. You poisoned yourself. Well, I was already at McDonald's. So I mean, you're already halfway there. But yeah. So now anytime like I drink like fountain soda and it's off, I'm like, "Mm, yeah, I've drank peroxide before. Hydrogen peroxide. Is that what it's called? (laughs) 
Well, you have to be I more specific. I mean, there's specific. a couple different peroxides, no. so I... Yeah, I'm assuming it's hydrogen peroxide. You shouldn't... I, that, that, that's why'd not you good. drink it? That's, um, not, that's not good. So, I went to the uh, hotel with this girl. This is years ago. And she had a water bottle mm-hmm. with what looked like water inside. Oh, um, would she have a water bottle? I think she, she did some face thing where she <laughs> puts it on her face or something. I don't so know. So, why did she just bring care. a fucking bottle of peroxide? I don't know. She just had a water um, bottle. Because, it wasn't full. Because you typically would like dilute it with water. So maybe the mixture was diluted with Already water. Mixed. That would mm-hmm. make sense. Because she wouldn't drink straight out of the bottle. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. So she was in the bathroom. Well, no. And I was like, I'm talking, about who? I'm talking to the girl. No, she's not stupid. Des- why are you drinking people's stuff? What did you get? What do you mean, why? It's just a bottle of water. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> what kind of question is why would you? So that. she's if in the you shower. Can the pee-pee, I think you can offer some water. And. I see the bottle of water there and it's like quarter full or a quart. It's quarter full. Hmm. And I you open it. it. No, it why would I smell dumb, water? It was, it was, it was, it was, I got so I just open it and I put it to my mouth and like I take a big gulp and I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and like I burst through the bathroom and she's like, like, are you OK? And I'm just I throw out the water. I'm like washing up my mouth. I'm trying to stick my finger down my throat. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to throw up. And it was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm here. <laughs> Barely. I'm here. <laughs> Did she like She apologized like a thousand times. She's like, I'm so sorry I should have left it in my bag. I'm like, no, like it is my fault. I shouldn't have like Port for You said she was using it for her face though? I don't know what she used it for. I don't I didn't care. I know people you can use it for your ears when your ears are clogged. It helps to break up the um Oh and then you like tip your head back. Like you you think you leave it for like a minute and then you like let it drain out. But I don't know. Um, okay, so I have a question. It's for you first, Des, because um, Eugene overheard this conversation with myself oh. and some friends. Oh, yeah. And it's funny. So, like, I, I mentioned to, or it came up with a friend and we were like, okay, we're not going to talk about it because we always go in. And he was like, what is it? And I'm like, don't ask because you don't want to know. It's you're going to get annoyed. And he kept asking. He's like, I want to know. I want to know. So I told him and he was like, yeah, this is stupid. And I'm like, I told you. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. When you were saying Hugh overheard a conversation you had with your friends. Yeah. Why did you say Hugh overheard a conversation with myself and my friends? Because I just wanted to make it known that like. You were there too? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So is this whole episode going to be you calling out the way I speak? No, no, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. okay. Because you know, majority of the time you. When uh, (laughs) when saying overhearing a conversation with my friends, just assume that you're there. That was my point. No, because it could have been them talking. I, I wouldn't be there. You were. We were all there. It was no, a housewarming party. If, like, so there were other people if, there, so they could have just been talking. Okay. It, that's how it works in my head, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Branches, branches, branches. <laughs> Full tree. <laughs> Swinging from tree to tree. All right. You should call me a monkey. No. monkey. Why are you smiling, Eugene? <laughs> Did you spill it again? No, there's some on the lip. Oh, you gotta finish it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's because when I said, Did you just call me a monkey? He started to like laugh but he didn't want to laugh now to we're me. even what stop doing that now we're even Eugene goodbye Des different foods can be you know classified in like different categories right yeah um like okay let's start with this a hot dog would go in the sandwich category because it's like something in between two pieces of bread, bread. right? Mm -hmm. Like a burger is also in a sandwich category. Like there's just different types of sandwiches, right? A sub, a panini, whatever. They're all in that category. So by that definition, by that logic, cereal would go in the soup soup category. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. See, Hugh? I'm I'm not talking about this stupid shit. (laughs) It's just cold soup. Thank you. Go fuck yourselves, man. What what would you classify that? It's a fucking cereal. It's in its own. It's a thing. (laughs) We've already went through definitions. Soup has to be boiled. So what? No. It's a broth. No, because there's cold soups as well. How'd you get? Well, you had a discussion. How do you get the soup in the first place? It's a broth. The soup at its core is a broth. It doesn't matter though, because sometimes. Oh fuck me. Like the (laughs) situation. You just jerk off a cow and it's milk. 
How yeah, do you get the... You said this at the at the. You, we went through the Googles. Well. It's not... No. We Googled it. <laughs> he said we went yeah, through Yeah, and I Googled it the too. The Googles. <laughs> so here's the thing. Is, okay, so like the contemporary use of cereal with liquid, right? Like you wouldn't classify that as a stew because stew is thicker. Yeah. Right? So like chili would go under a stew category. 100%. Thank you. This is why... This is why you're my boy. Okay. <laughs> so cereal is like it's some sort of like food because you don't it doesn't have to be a meat because there's vegetarian soups Mm -hmm. right it's some sort of like food in a liquid base and that's cereal and the food you can have by itself without the liquid base but because it's in the liquid base right cereal Cereal in milk (laughs) becomes soup it becomes cereal no no because you can no, have the cereal no, no, without no. the milk. Yes. No, it's just Frosted Flakes. <laughs> what? It's just Frosted Flakes. Stupid. It's just Frosted Flakes. So if the cereal gets soggy, is it stew? No, because it's not. Stew is thick. Yeah, if cereal gets soggy, it's going to become thicker. It is it no, stew? It no, it doesn't. It breaks it apart. Doesn't. It's, stew? Yeah. it's not thicker. Is it stew, thicker. you fucking cunts? It's stew. Oh, my God. It does not. I'm not talking about this that bullshit. That is so funny. Mm-mm. That so would hilarious. oatmeal be in a stew category? Or is that its own category? It's hot cereal, Which and is like soup. porridge, <laughs> soup, porridge, hot cereal. Porridge is a soup, yeah, because it's more of a runny base. Yeah. But like oatmeal is thicker. You know, where's the gun? I need to shoot myself in the head. Why? Just because you disagree? I don't disagree. This shit just pisses me off. It doesn't piss me if off. If you guys are listening right now, I would love to know: Do you feel like cereal is a soup? See, that's the problem. It's feelings, not based on reality. If you're listening to this episode on the day it comes out, we're going to do an Instagram poll, so let us know. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Look, I think I have Instagram on my phone. Yeah, so you can't go and, like, sabotage no, the okay, vote? Can't okay, see okay, it. okay, okay, okay. You okay. Googled it. I Googled it, and I shouldn't have Googled but it. But I also Googled it, and I have sources that say otherwise as no, well. No, no, I understand. Mm-hmm. You're going to find anything on the internet that will agree with what, what you What they're to. saying is that cereal is not a soup based off of the fact that it's not hot. Therefore... Oatmeal, when you have hot oatmeal, would be soup, but, but it's hot cereal. Soups. So they are cold. That's what I'm saying. So technically, it is it a is. soup. So how do you get yeah. to the soup in the first place? It doesn't matter. How do you get the soup He's in the first place? He's saying that even a cold soup, how do you, soup, get the you soup have in to the boil, first but not how every do you get single the soup? one. Not how do you get the soup? One. How do you get the soup? How do you get the soup? Stop tapping. How do you get the soup? Woodpecker? How do you See, that doesn't make sense. How is oatmeal soup? But cereal is not soup. That, that by this that whole logic, thing that is doesn't... fucking stupid. <laughs> How do you get soup? Soupy. How do you get soup? Where does the soup come from? Your mom. How do you make soup? <laughs> How do you make soup, guys? You boil fucking thing. You don't always have to. How boil do you get it. the soup in the first place? You don't always have to. How do you get the soup? It. How do you get the broth? You can just How? open a can of tomato paste. How do you make soup? And, ha- and co- have Do you it- just put tomatoes in cold water okay. and eat it? Yes. Okay. You're fucking At medieval weird. times when they give you that tomato. That- those, those are poor people. They can't afford fire. <laughs> they had to eat what they had to eat. <laughs> right. But it was cold. It's Yeah, because they're poor. How did they get the broth? It's still soup. How did they get the broth? They crush the tomatoes and, and, and puree that's not, them. That's, not, that's a stew. Though, okay, I'm going to read what it says on Wikipedia. No, you add water. Oh, it's still what? a stew. How do you make chili? Just water and chili. So was, this, so was that a soup? Because there's I water actually in don't, it? I actually don't make my chili with well, water. Well, well, yeah, yeah, you idiot. It's fucking so, <laughs> From Wikipedia, right? And Fuck it, Wikipedia. It's very contradicting. So it says... Yeah, because it's Wikipedia. <laughs> cereal, is, is, cereal in milk is not soup. Soup is a primarily, primarily liquid food generally served warm or hot, but may be cool or cold. Thank you. That is it's made by combining ingredients such as meat and vegetables with stock, Juice, water, or other, juice. or another liquid. So I'm confused. The, stock? If the, the other stock? liquid is milk. Would it not be soup? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm so confused. You like it's very contradicting. But in the end, you're saying because it's soup, but you don't like want to say it is. Are, they're mad. They don't want to call it soup. Oh, I'm you sound you sound reality. pressed. No, I'm I'm fine. You sound look at my face. It's, it's pretty fine. I mean, I don't know about all that now. <laughs> no, you you you're pressed. And in people who listen, if you're listening to this. All respect to you if you have a different view, but you're wrong. <laughs> no, you are wrong. You're wrong. Cereal is a soup. It's in the category. If it if it's in milk, I should say. Or I mean if you eat your cereal in water or whatever. I mean if you're weird. But if you if you just like grab like dry cereal, like dry Cheerios, you know when you give it to like babies or whatever, like that's not a soup, obviously. That goes no, under the soup. that goes under the cracker no, category, soup, in man. my opinion. It's a cookie. Is crackers and cookies are all in the same category? Oh, 
Ooh, based off of where I work, it's not. Yeah, you, you create that stuff. Yeah. Man. I'm not going to argue with you. You create this yeah. thing, man. You're the creator. Of Crackers books. and cookies? No, okay. I mean, I just came up with this theory, so oh. I'm I'm open to... That's your theory, that crackers and cookies? I feel like, because, like, it all, to me, it's all, like, finger food snacks. That's why I said dry cereal would go in that category. Like, you know? As finger food snack, but they're but, but, then but not take... in the same as like gummies and candy because that's sugar based, yeah, not but like a flour based. You can also wheat... take uh, Mr. They Noodles they also... dry and eat it dry, and now it's a finger food. Ramen? Now, it's, now it's crackers. Yeah, you've never had dry Mr. Noodles? No, I'm not man. insane. Oh my god, yeah, we talked about this. Did we talk about yeah, this? Yeah, I feel like we did. There's some You're right. There's some hood shit. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Those are, those are hood okay, shit. so then I would. I mean, I'm so not... are Mr. Noodles dried crackers now? I mean, logic. if you're eating it like that. Is it a cracker then? It's no more longer. No, no, no. I didn't say it's a cracker. I said it's in the category. Like, you have to categorize food. So soup is in, a cereal, sorry, is in the soup category. Cereal itself, like, what is cereal? When it's dry, it's one thing. When it's in it's cereal. when it's in milk, it's a completely different thing. It's, still it's a soup. You think it's still cereal? It's, it's still breakfast cereal. soup. It's cereal. It's, that was excellent. It's, it's breakfast, breakfast soup. soup. Facts. And then the hot soup. Is well, dinner said, mm-hmm. blood, yeah. This is not my last podcast. <laughs> I'm just you guys. Um, thank you. Breakfast soup. That's he's what he's it mad is. that we're even I'm still mad. talking about I'm just it. Just disgusted that it's still a topic. But it is. Yeah, I'm not actually disgusted. It is breakfast soup. You are right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much, Des. I appreciate that. <laughs> and instead of putting vegetables, people put fruits. The same thing. Those are, oh my gosh! Bootable. Thank you. No, there's fruits in cereal. Special those K, yeah, Weird. bananas, strawberries, nuts, uh, almonds. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. it's called being forty. <laughs> I'm gonna put bananas in my cereal. It's called trying to be <laughs> right. healthy. My mom likes bananas in her How cereal. How old's your mom? <laughs> exactly. Don't my mom. Jeez. Um. Okay. Well, moving on from the breakfast soup. Um. <laughs> You, your face is so unimpressed. I wish I was a mass shooter right now. Oh, you I'm joking. Mean, you it's can't, a joke. You can't it's make jokes joke. like that. Why? Because you're going to Am I going to trigger the Americans? <laughs> I mean. No, they're fine. Don't. I mean, school the, shootings. They're used to it by now. Just not. I'm joking. In Canada. <laughs> not in Canada. We haven't had one. In, I don't think we've. I don't think we've. Have we? All right. Let's uh, knock on wood and move on. Anyway, so um, this morning, it was like fairly early. I was still sleeping. Um, I get a call. Phone rings, but you know when you're like half awake, and I'm like, I don't know if this call is like for work, if it's personal. I just know it's like it's not a number saved in my phone. It's not Mm -hmm. anyone I know. So because I was half awake, I didn't want to like, like you know, you gotta clear your throat and like sound awake. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sound like you're sleeping. So I was like, "Eh, I'm gonna ignore it. So it stops ringing. Clear your throat. No, I said I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, (laughs) 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 no. So I um. I didn't answer it. I don't like to ignore calls. I just let it ring, but I, I turn off the ringer. Um, and then I checked because I'm like, I don't know, like, is this number one that I know? And I looked in my call, like, history, and that was the first time that person had ever called me, mm. and I'd never called them. It's just the one missed call, right? Okay, cool. Ten seconds after I checked that, I close my eyes again, and the phone rings. Same number. So I was like, okay, maybe this is important. You know, when someone calls back to back, it's like, whatever. I answer the phone. I'm like, Hello? And an old man, think of like the quintessential like old white man voice. That's what he sounded like. Hubert. Sure. <laughs> um, he's like, Ariana? I was like, no, I think you have the wrong number. He was like, no, I don't have the wrong number. You called me. <laughs> I was like, what? Sir, I think you have dementia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not being rude. Like... <laughs> Sir, please, it's too early. I'm sleeping. Like, don't oh, try no, me. No, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you called me? What? Shut no, up. Let me preface by saying he was not just calling and being, no, Ariana. He was pissed. Okay. He was like, Ariana? I was like, no. Ariana, you damn whore. <laughs> I know what you did 40 years ago. You fucking bitch. First of all, Ariana's not an old person name. It, it could be, be anybody, yeah, man. And Ariana gets old. Ariana, it was Ariana, whatever. Ariana Grande. Ari, is Ariana? What was it? That, that was the name. Is it Ari or Ari? He said Ari. Ariana. Ariana. It's probably some Spanish chick. I don't know. Ariana. Ariana. Ew! Why are you both doing Ariana, that? Ariana, you broke my heart, you bitch. No, why did you leave me in Barcelona? 
<laughs> wow, you were belting just now. <laughs> that sounded personal. <laughs> <laughs> it did. That came from the heart. I you been okay? Been Barcelona yet? <laughs> Damn, so she just ran away to Barcelona? <laughs> yeah, Somebody's from Barcelona. Because he said yet, as in he's going after Ariana. <laughs> Ariana! <laughs> Creep. Why did you leave me? Yo, it's actually like In a Barcelona. Low- I was going to say it's a low key a bop. It like, is, I it can, is. Yeah. I was not going to stop. Yeah. yeah, I'm done. Yeah, we know. Because my heart hurts. Oh, boy. <laughs> just that damn bitch, Ariana. <laughs> All right, well, for the record, that's not me. I was me. the old man. <laughs> I called you. <laughs> no, so I was like, no, I think you have the wrong number. He was like, no, I don't. You called me. I was like, I, I didn't call you. He was like, yes, you did. Um, He was like, I called you back. I was like, I didn't call. Keep in mind, I just woke up. I was like, what's happening? I was like, no, I didn't call you. I was like, maybe you have the wrong number. He was like, I can't have the wrong number because I just copied and, and called the number right back. You called me. You called me. Why did you call me? I was like, sir. Why are you entertaining this? Why don't you just hang out with the phone? So I it? said, I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Goodbye. And I hung up. But I was like, why do I wake up for this shit? Like, my gut told me don't answer. And you answered. And you didn't listen to your gut. <sighs> I know. So happens when you don't listen to your gut, you get fucked up. And then it just like, it just, I did go back to sleep, but it put me in a bad mood. Because I was like, why did I just get cussed out by an old random man looking for Ariana? And because I'm like, because you answered your phone to a yeah. number no, you don't know. No, and the thing is, he actually made me. I told you in between the first and the second call, I did check to see if it was mm-hmm. a number I recognized or I had been in communication with, and I didn't. And after, because he was so sure, you that, screenshot it and sent it to him. No, I didn't. Oh, what? I thought that's what was coming. No, back. but I did go back and check again, mm-hmm. just as like my mind was like, let's make sure that I didn't accidentally call this man, mm-hmm. even though I was sleeping, I couldn't have called him. But I was like, nah, he's he's crazy. The only calls are the one missed call and the one I answered. And I'm like, all right, sir. I'm glad he didn't call back though. But I'm like, why? Like, also, why are you so mad? Because you left that him in Barcelona. Ariana. Why did you leave me in Barcelona? No, but like he was like, you keep calling me. Why do you keep calling my heart? (laughs) Calling my heart? It hurts so much. (laughs) You're having way too much fun. He he loves this. He loves this. You're still tipping the can. I told you I'm a man. I don't drink out of a straw. I drink out of the tip. Call me the tip. <laughs> what? The- they call him the tip. You didn't hear? Um. Okay. Let me ask you first, Hugh. If today was your last day on Earth, like everything is still gonna, you're, you know, you're dying today. No. What would, what would? But you the do? world will continue on. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. What would your day look like? Have we um, talked about this before? We have. Uh, I, I don't remember <laughs> what I said. Um, I, I think we talked about if the world was ending. How we would spend our last day. Yeah, though. but not if you were the only one dying. Mm, okay. Um, I guess I'll just spend time with the people I give a shit about um, for the whole day. And then I'm um, being honest. I know it's the way you said it. Not the people I care about. The people I give a shit about. Yeah, yeah same thing. Um, And then I'll just go to the fucking watch the sunset and die. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, Joe. No, it's just the way you described it. Like, that's so sad, <laughs> but, like, also beautiful, you know? Yeah. But okay. it's just, go, go watch the sunset and die. Like, yeah, I'm dying. Joe, just die watching doing? beauty. No, but, like, what if you don't die right at the sunset? So you're sitting there in the dark, just contemplating. Just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I already accepted my faith. I know I'm dying. I'll just wait. I mean, is it like a situation, like, can I save myself? Is there any possibility? No, no, you're dead. You're You're going to die. You're going to die. 24 hours, you're dead. Um, I would spend, yeah, literally just time with the people I love. I would say my goodbyes, tell them everything that I would want them to know. And then I would spend the last few hours with my mom and my dog. Okay. And I'd like make arrangements for my, See, mine is actually completely different from you guys. Yeah. I would only spend time with Caden and just Caden. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The reason being is because <laughs> if I die, I feel like during my life, I was very honest with people. 
So it's not like I have to be like, oh, this is my last day. Let me see yeah. you. You know, I, I, I don't like that in the mm. sense of, okay, here we go. You're acting like this because it's your last day. You yeah. should have just been consistent your whole fucking life. Yeah. Or at least when you didn't know you were dying. Yeah. So in terms of that, like if I wasn't to see my mom or my brothers, like I was consistent. I don't care. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. my friends, same thing. But Caden, yeah. it's the mental state. Like, okay, now I'm going to spend the last day with you. You know, we'll play basketball. Yeah. We'll go get food that yeah. I don't eat, that I know you like, that kind of stuff. Let's get some ice cream, son. Yeah, I don't eat ice cream, right? Mm-hmm. So he would like that very much. <laughs> so, you know, go to the movies with him. Do stuff that we do. We used to... um, I used to pick him up from school early. And we would go to the arcade before we went to piano. Don't tell his mom. Um, and <laughs> what arcade? Uh, STC. That in the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's we, like the arcades downstairs do and the theaters upstairs. Why don't we do it now? Because yeah. now we do basketball. We have better things to do. With you. True, yeah. True. Now we're very devoted to basketball. Oh, okay. So it's like those stuff. Wait, I would so just in do. the winter. Sorry, I know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Completely side no, note. Cool. Branch. You know. Um, in Ooh. the winter, what do you do? Like you indoor. just not do basketball no, as indoor. much. Oh. There's a big place in uh gyms in Durham right now. There's a new just one. like open like Massive. places. Where? It's by the. It's by the GM. I plant. feel like that's a little irrelevant right now. No, it's basketball. <laughs> he said it's a huge place that just it's opened. Yeah, up. but describing where it is is not productive. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So for my last day, that's all it would be, you know. And then I would tell him what I expect of him growing up as a man. Yeah. That way, it's like at least always in his head. It's the last, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then that's it. Yeah. I wouldn't die in front of him, of course. Oh God, no, that'd be so traumatizing. Watch me die, son. Yeah, you like look me we, in the eye. <laughs> him and his mom went to uh, Montreal, and we all have like little matching bracelets, but Aww. with different colors. Um, That's cute. And we all wear it on our left hand. Why? Uh, I don't know. I saw him, and I was like, "Oh, what hand am I supposed to put this on?" He's like, "Mine's on my left, so left." Oh. And one day, his mom was cooking, and I was like, "Kidding? Come look at this." And he comes over, and I, he's like, "Wow." <laughs> She's like, what? I'm like, why is it on your right hand? And she's like, well, I don't know. I just kind of switch hands. He's like, no, left only. And I'm like, oh, this is my child. Yeah. Well, you know, your left hand is closer connected to your heart. That's what they say. I don't know because I've never. That's why the ring finger body. is your left one because that one has a vein that goes directly to your heart. I wonder how they found that out. Not in a good way. Oh no, God no. Autopsy and yeah. like they dissect. Like, oh, this one. Okay, put it there. Yeah. 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 I agree with you. Yeah. I do. We learned a lot from things that we shouldn't have. Probably, yeah. And that is you know how one. they used to do it, like in a big like like stadium, and they'd be have a guy in the middle. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and they're yeah, all just yeah, like yeah. watching, watching. Oh, well, it's for brilliant. educational purposes. Yeah, yeah. Except that guy was suffering. Yeah. They do that in the um the Netflix series Ratchet is with Sarah about like, Paulson. Is that about like hoes or something? No, it's a nurse, Nurse Ratchet. Oh, <laughs> I would not be happy with that name. Ratchet. 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 Her name's Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet, yes, that's still, Mildred, man. Mildred Ratchet. That's a horrible. Ooh, name. That's a horrible. It takes place in like the 60s, 70s, like you know, sixties, uh, seventies. Yeah, that's still a bad. Name. Maybe actually, probably not even seventies, fifties, sixties. I don't know. That's a little bit better for that time period, though. Yeah, yes. Mildred Sarah Paulson from uh, American Horror Story. I don't know who these people are. You, if you saw oh, her, a blonde lady. You, I mean, her hair changes, but she's being blonde. Yes. Oh, okay. She uh, old? No. Like old lady. Like forties. <laughs> he's he's like squinted a, his eyes. He's like, like, I still have no idea. He's like, she the one with like the oval shaped head. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Sarah Paulson. Oh, you got chest there. Yeah, oh. I play with it all the time. Little oh. bitty, itty bitty. Sarah Paulson. Oh, that chick. Yeah, okay. you guys know her. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I know you her. know her. Yeah. From American. Itty bitty. Yeah. So she has been blonde, but like. Hold on, hold on. Anyways, <laughs> one time this girl was kissing my chest, and like I saw her do this, and oh. I was very happy. I was like, "Yes, my chest ears well, are you coming didn't, in." You gotta say, you said do this, but they don't oh, know. No. It. Oh, she like take, take a piece of hair out of her mouth. Yeah. And that's yeah, gross. Yeah. We all do it, and we all do it. Yeah, you do it. Of we course. We all take care. Every time we, everyone's taking the hair out of their mouth. Oh, for life. sure. A you're man's giving... chest hair? No, no just you, hair. Just hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, you're giving head, and you're like, ugh. Or you try to move it aside with your mouth right? because <laughs> you don't want to. You don't really want to use your finger right now. Yeah, put that in the back. I'll take that out later. I'll save, <laughs> save this for later. This is a snack for later. Ooh, that was funny. I was gonna say something, but I I won't. <laughs> I think it's best. No, now I want to say it. I know that's why I said it. <laughs> I didn't say it. Damn, we're for a 
psychology. I was going to say, my thing that I hate is, like, when I'm washing my hair in the shower. And then, like, I always make sure, like, after, you got to, like, make sure you wash your body off really well. Especially, like, your butt crack because you get, like, water, uh, hair yeah. that, like, gets in between there. I just have hair there. So no. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about hair that has shed from my yeah, head. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't get it. I get it's it. All I same. understand. Well, also, you don't have hair in your head to like shed same. like that. Have, has that happened yeah, to you? Though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I found hair that in my butt crack that wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> You're like, I don't even know whose like, hair it is. This is not my hair. Whose <laughs> 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 hair? This is even more than once. That I'm like, this hilarious. isn't my hair. <laughs> Nothing went there. How did this get here? Yeah, no, I definitely understand that too. The other day, I was taking a shower and like. There's like a long strand of hair, and I was like, Where did this come from? I haven't been around any girls sexually like that. Why is so, this, what the fuck? This is yeah. long ass hair yeah. in my asshole. Not <laughs> in your asshole. Whose hair is this? He said, In his asshole. See, we're hair. talking about butt crack, not in the I'm asshole. I'm talking about asshole. Oh, Eugene, get that checked <laughs> out. That means you maybe like ate it and it went through <laughs> your whole system and it came out. I don't know, man. Ugh. <sighs> God, that's like when my dog was a puppy and he used to like chew his rope toys. He doesn't have them anymore because I stopped giving them to him. But then he pooped and the poop had a rope in it. You look at the poop? Yeah, because I pick it up. Oh, I, don't, I don't look at my dog's poop. When, I'm, when I pick up Gucci's poop, I'm just like, ugh. Sometimes I pretend to pick it up. <laughs> pick up poop. <laughs> Commoners, right, Hugh? Yeah. If no one's around, I don't pick it up. <laughs> I heard it was good for the soil. There you go. I'm helping the environment. Yeah, but that's not soil. That's grass. And it's not dog poop. It's cow manure. Uh, yeah. Is that what you did to cow manure? <laughs> yeah. You saw what I did. You heard it. Is this my time for my personal story? Of course. Ew. Oh. Not with that face. Huh. Well, um... <laughs> Uh, so on Saturday, well, I guess it started Friday. Friday I went to uh, I won't tell that one, but I'll tell that in the later. But like on Friday, I go to Muay Thai, whatever, and then I, after we're done the class, and like there's like it's very distinct who the different. There's like you have the regular students and then you have the fighters. It's you can tell yeah, you, you can, can tell see, one yeah. by the people, the color of the shorts, how they act, interact. Just, and they're yeah. all just in a group together, and you just guys called God, those are the fighters. Huh? <laughs> those and, are the real deals. And I went to the guy. So like I, they're like the cool kids. Yeah. Kinda, mm-hmm. yeah. So I went to the guy and I was like, "How do I be how a do fighter?" I be you. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, "What be you, man?" And he's just like, "Keep coming." And he said, "Come the next day because we're doing sparring." And I was just like, "Oh God, yeah, yeah." But I was like, "I have to get like." I had to go, like, so, like, Saturday, because it was at, like, 1 o'clock. I had mm-hmm. to rush to, like, the, it's called a warrior shop. You got, like, headgear and had to get a cup because you don't want to get kicked in the yeah. dick. Um, go on on Saturday. The vibe is completely different from, like, regular class. Regular class is like, okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this one is. <laughs> is this quiet? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quiet. <laughs> is this serious? I'm just like, okay, so what are we doing, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, what buddy. are we doing? <laughs> I'm you. <laughs> No, like they just start. They're just shouting. He doesn't the, introduce himself as Hugh. No, I'm too scared, Eugene. man. I'm, I just no. I well, I don't. I say Hugh now. Okay. Too, are, really? Yeah, he was too hard for people. Wow. Eugene is people, very hard. Because yeah. so I, I know when I heard Hugh. your name, I said it like 17 times. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene isn't hard. It's just like people's minds go Eugene. Yeah. They're just like and you're, you're like, saying Eugene, your name and wrong. And they just think they think you're right. Yeah. I remember someone tried to tell me I was saying your name wrong. I think it was my mom. Yeah. She was like, "Oh, it's Eugene." I'm like, like "How are you telling me? Like, I, you knew you know him through me. Yeah. Like, it's it's Eugene. I'm telling you." <laughs> yeah, I know. They just started like shadow boxing. I'm just like, "Okay, I guess we're doing that." So I just start hitting the bang, whatever. And then he's like, "All right, everyone, do like warm up, whatever." And then he to, and he's just like, "All right, partner up." I'm just like, "Oh shit, somebody oh, shit. me." <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, ah, ah, ah. and then um, the first guy I was with was this tall ass lanky guy. And then I saw him as my first time. And, like, I did it before, but, like, not enough mm-hmm. where I'm, like, okay, whatever, I'm confident. And, plus, these are the fighters. Mm-hmm. They're, either, they're either fighters or they're a high level. Mm-hmm. So, I go to the tall guy. It was kind of, like, fine, whatever. Um, I couldn't really hit him because he's so tall. I finally figured out how to tall. I, I didn't figure out to the end of the class how to fight tall people properly because I'm short. Um, after fighting him, because it was only rounds, so it was about three minutes. I was just like, because <laughs> it's, it's just different. It's just, you're you're not just you're tired, you're scared, and you're in pain, mm-hmm. right? So then after that, I think the next person, I think it was a girl next, and I was th- I've seen this girl before. I didn't think she was like high level because she just wearing because there's different colored shorts. She was always wearing regular shorts, 
and then she kicked me. I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, and shit. I, and I just remember now. Black like, Widow, <laughs> shit. No, and I just remember now she had bruises all over her leg. So I didn't. I should have noticed that. But then, like, her, it was good with her because that's when I realized my head movement is not as poo-poo as I thought it was. Because mm. I was doing stuff, I was just like, hoo, hoo, hoo. I was like, oh. Don't let her hit you. <laughs> no, but I was only doing that because I was tired. So I just put my hands up. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> You get it what you get. And she she smiled. She's just like, oh shit, okay. And I was coward. Like, I was like, <laughs> pretty much. I was like, doing, she probably thought, oh, he's doing. So he's like, good. I was like, face me like a man. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm like, I'm tired, man. And then after that, rest. And then there's a guy in red. And then this guy, I was just like, oh, the it, murderers are yeah, always in red. <laughs> yeah, no, his face was so serious too, and he was tall also. So I'm just like, and I'm gassed tits. And then I go to him. <laughs> And I, so what I did to kind of throw people off is I did kind of like a karate stance. So it's kind of like, not like, it's more like sideways. And mm-hmm. I was doing like side kicks because most people don't, they, they were like, what, what do I do with this? Well, uh, uh. But he knew what to do with it. He figured it out and he read me and he started doing question mark kicks, which is just like the, that shit. And I'm just like, ah, 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 you got me again. <laughs> and then like, I figured out, okay, I think I have to get closer into him. So he started, I started like pretty much. Just getting really close mm-hmm. and then like, hitting the body and stuff. Then he would clinch me, which would just grab. Yeah. And then he threw like a knee at my rib. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> you're gonna your ass so kicked. wait, is this you're basically telling us that you got beat up on Saturday? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I knew I knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. I knew what was gonna happen when That's going crazy. In. He countered everything you thought you were doing. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I, I got beaten up pretty much. It was it was it was fun. <laughs> it was I did better than I thought. Yeah, that's good. That's what I was like. I was very surprised, especially with my the head movement is what's really shocked me the most. I was just like <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't make those noises. In my head, I did. <laughs> I can't believe Can you that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, I did that. But, like, after the class, I was dead. Yeah. I was dead. This Because normally after a Muay Thai class, I'm not tired. I'm actually, like, amped up. I just want to, like, <laughs> it was like that. But, like, after this, this one, I was just, like, the whole weekend, I was sore. I'm still sore yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, I like, remember you were Like, my it. side right here is sore because I didn't block the kicks. Mm. You're supposed to, supposed to catch the kick. I just ate them. I was just like, okay. oh, you got a full meal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> full yeah meal. It, it's fun. I suggest people to do it. That's great. Nice. To get beat up. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> you see now? where that break was after the girl? <laughs> like, Let me get something from the car. <laughs> once, once you got that kick by the girl, you would have been like, over. Uh, so I'm gonna run to the car real quick. And you're, you're, I'll be you're right back. One start. second. Hey, you're taking your bag. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just. Got I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. My mom called. <laughs> but it makes me like because after family emergency. <laughs> No, because after the class, the main guy came and we did like clinching, which is just like pretty much like holding each other and you throw knees mm-hmm. and stuff. So we're just like practicing and it's kind of like chess. It's really weird. Clenching is like chess. You're just like, you're trying to think, what's this guy going to do now? Mm-hmm. And then like the guy I was clenching with, he was a beginner. Um, I did finger quotations. This guy was like easily, he's the same weight as me. Like he was like 230, but he was thicker than me. I was just like, geez, Louise. He threw this a knee at my right here. Mm. Little, just like move, not even like an actual power behind it. Just knee. slow motion. And I, then when I, then I think it was on Sunday, I touched it and it was hurting. It wasn't like power. It was just yeah. like a, just like a, just like a little knee. <laughs> I was like, like an <laughs> anime where they barely touch a yeah, person and yeah, they go yeah, flat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, yeah, it was, it was pain. It was fun. It was fun. Though. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Because if you didn't, it would just be, would be a very no. Sad I'm going. I'm going now. Nah, since he said like it's cool for me to go, I'm gonna go every Saturday now. Oh, that's good. So every Saturday, I'm gonna be crying at home. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> why do Aww. I do this to myself? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But it feels so good. I was, while I was doing, it, I was like, why am I here? Why are you doing this? Okay, the I'm girl's gonna. Back. The girl's gonna come to you next week. You're back. No, I'm gonna. Go. <laughs> you don't belong here. <laughs> She was my Another favorite. Kick. <laughs> she was my favorite person to fight because it was very much like get, we're, to, we're, we're, it was close, and not even this a hype thing. It was that we got close and we're just like just punching each other in the body and stuff. It was very fun. It was that's very good. fun. Yeah, that's good. You were, but I was fun. the whole weekend getting up a girl. Uh, you know, it's Muay Thai. We don't care. Um, the girls will fight the guys, man. Oh yeah, she kicked your ass. No, I just a second I got my ass kicked by a girl when I was at Bazooka. My friend, she like we we're partnering up, and she kept kicking my leg, but her foot would wrap around and hit me in the ass. So I had a bruise on my ass. Shit! Yeah, it was. She it was great. Your ass, I liked it. it. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Come on, kick it, right, kick it!" Right. But yeah. All right, Hugh. Do it again. Come on. Come on. Ah. All right. Now we are gonna get to some questions from the audience. Um, if you are listening and you want to be a part of the conversation, you know the drill. <sighs> 
you write in to thisquareroom.com slash ask. Um, what type of questions do we take, Des? All types. Funny types, story types, questions, questions. You like the incest ones the most. I... I what? just Eugene? <laughs> drink your water and, and people have been fucking their cousins on this. Our fans, it's not their cousins. They're family fuckers. Okay, we got a, no, we got no. fans of family fuckers. <laughs> Step. It's still family. Ah. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Des says no. <nah. laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so, like the guy said, we take anything. If you have a story, I'm the guy. I said the guys. Oh, there was an S on there. You need to stop. I'm saying, not saying I don't nothing. Say I'm not saying okay. nothing. I intended to say that's what, like the guys said, um, if it's a question that you have, if you have a story, if you have something to share, whatever it is, we want to hear from you. So it's thissquareroom.com slash ask. Um, this person, it's uh, they're going to remain anonymous. Um, they actually Howard. don't, they <laughs> actually don't have much of a question. They have something to share. All they said is, <laughs> this is what Des Wayne would sound like if he rapped. <laughs> no. and, and they sent a YouTube link. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just laughing because I did listen to it ahead of time. Oh, they also said, before I play the thing, they said, I don't know how to spell it. And they wrote, um, they're trying to figure out how to spell your name. So D-E-S-W-A-I-N-E or W-A-Y-N-E. Do you want to oh. let them know? I don't want to let you know nothing now. Well, no, but what if it's good? No, it's not good. I heard the way you laughed. I listened to it. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sound like I'm a... I'm so insulted already. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hold on, sorry. It's just playing a YouTube ad. My apologies. <laughs> Ugh, you better remain anonymous. Okay, so this is... Um, Right in front of him. I just tapped his shoulder so I know that he is touchable. Put 30 in my chop and then I turned him to a hug. Jeez! Away from pre-K and eating Lunchables. I just <laughs> didn't know when you should never feel uncomfortable. Don't waste any time, bro. Just turn him to a vegetable. Throw the job right here. You know what? I'm not insulted. I'm not insulted. What song is that? Oh, I clicked off of it. It's called... I'm not insulted. Um, How you spelled my name is D E S. Oh, now you're... W-A-Y-N-E. So the second one was correct. So it's called Touchable by Remble. R E M B L E is the artist. But yeah, I'm he, listen to that. he feels like um, that's what you would sound like if you rapped. Okay, um, I'm not. I'm not. I think insulted. I get it. It's because of the way you speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense because this guy it it doesn't sound like he's rapping. It sounds like he's just talking. To be honest, um, talking to the beat. Yeah, yeah. He's just saying words realistically. <laughs> is that what rapping is? I, mean, I hate both of you. <laughs> yeah, rapping. You're, I think you're confusing that with singing, my friend. Uh, you think so? I mean, talking no, I to the am. beat I is, definitely am. You're right. is just rapping. You're right. <laughs> so I'm like, what but I feel like rapping. rapping is more like with, I don't want to say with a purpose. Like He had a purpose. Like more swaggy, more like, I don't know. Don't, yeah. don't come for, yeah, you're for right. was it Rimble or Ramble? Rimble, Rimble. Ramble, R E M B L E. I'm the Undertaker. Um, but I can actually play a snippet for you of me rapping. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna find out what you actually, actually sound, sound like. like. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so this is actually Desley. This is actually me. That's all you guys get. You know what's funny? When the lyric, um, whatever, the lockjaw thing, <laughs> I looked at Hugh's face and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not mad at the Remble thing. That's I mean... Remble, that's his name? Yes. Okay. The I do way- like the Lunchables part, though. That made me smile very hard. Oh, I wasn't even really listening uh, to the lyrics. I was listening bars. to... Bars. Like, he had bars. No, I was just listening to like the flow. Because oh, okay. like, it's that... It, so what you would sound like. Like, the lyrics don't I'm mean gonna anything. I'm going to make a song it's, like that. I mean, I think if you wanted to flow like that, you could. Yeah, yeah. I kind of do now. 
(laughs) (laughs) Okay, we have another one. This one is from Mikey. So he says, um, hey guys, first off, Joe, come on. (laughs) I know I may not have came for you and Des, or I, I may or may not have came for you and Des for the chip thing, but you didn't have to call me out and stump me with this question. So this is two episodes ago, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, cause what was the question that we asked? It's okay. I know he's going to remind us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I remember calling him out and being like, you know, tell us yeah. what you think. Um, this entire week I've been thinking about how to word my answer because I don't want it to sound too exaggerated. I write these submissions in my notes before I actually submit them. So they actually make sense. Um, and I've written this like four times. Mikey, I feel like that's, something, that's something I would do, like writing my notes, what so, like guy. organize my thoughts. Um, Oh, this is what it is. Okay. See, I told you he'd always remind us about the question. It was the the hardest truth. Mm. So he says, so my hardest truth I've come to realize is that I'm not as important as I'm led on to be. That that sounds, he says that sounds depressing, but hear me out. Yeah. Parents and teachers are always the first to tell you things like you're capable of great things, etc. I feel like I know my worth and what I'm capable of. And I personally don't think I'm capable much. Oh, oh, of much. Um, LOL. And that's just the reality. Like Hugh said, reality doesn't care if you're <laughs> Jeffrey, big money Bezos or some random big be- dick Bezos. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did, Mikey. Jesus. No, he, that's what Hugh called him uh, two weeks ago. He called him big dick. Bezos? No, big money. Oh, that's what he, uh, yeah. That's what he said. I did? Yeah. Huh. That's why he repeated exactly what he said. I know, but said. that's why I said he, he got, said he it again. It to big now dick. I got big dick Bezos. <laughs> Smooth like my head. Oh my god. Okay, what? keep it. Joe, 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 Joe. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sometimes he makes it so keep hard. Going. No pun intended. Okay. He says, reality doesn't care if you're a Jeffrey, big money Bezos, or some random, because at the end of the day, everyone's expendable. Um, I think that the thing that defines us is who we surround ourselves with, because every person. Um, uh, because every person, everything shapes us into who we are. I don't think that knowledge or anything like that defines us, but more of the memories that we create along the way. But of course, knowledge is important because it teaches us the ways to avoid certain obstacles. And wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom are cousins. The two sides of a coin. Yeah. Right. This is the same coin. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. <laughs> um, but Okay. Hmm. Really? I like that answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. Um, that's true, and I think that's why you know how like nowadays, like like your like little eight year old kid in like the like a soccer league, and everyone gets a ribbon, and they're made to feel like they're so good, mm. and like so it's bad. people in older generations are like, you shouldn't, like you can tell them like, good job, you performed well, but you can do better. Like encourage them to do better mm-hmm. instead of letting them feel like they are <laughs> the was, greatest yeah, thing. Yeah, the false hope. Right, and I kind of agree with that. Like, I don't think you should, like, tear down, especially when they're little children, but, like, be like, oh, you know, you did good, but you, like, teach them mm-hmm. how to be better because they will never be good if they just think that, like, they're the best I'm God's greatest whatever, gift. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I get that, and I like that, Mikey, you sound very sure of yourself. You're like, yeah, I'm capable of this and that, and I know what I'm capable of, and sometimes in certain categories it may not be much. And, like, I think mm. that's realistic. Like, not everyone's good at everything. Not every kid mm. can grow up and be the president. Ugh, if I wanted to. You could never. I could if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. <laughs> There's you stuff could. you said on this podcast, you can't. It'll do it again. So. I don't want to. That's why. For, forget, no, forget the podcast. No, just the way you've lived your life because you know they dig into it's your... It's because I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I, I ran for either. president of my class in grade seven, and that's when I realized <laughs> I don't care to convince people to like me. Yeah, but it's like... You know, I um, I like that answer. Very good. Um, so he says, I do have two questions to ask you guys to see if I can stump you guys. Specific- Joe, what is your problem? What? This is your fault for calling him out. I know. He says yeah, specifically Joe as revenge. Yeah, good. First of all. Leave me out of this. <laughs> no, he's trying to stump all of us, but like, <laughs> let's be honest. Go for her. We have- for I mean, her. he's the only one who's come close to stumping you. I mean, he kind of did. He kind of yeah. stumped yeah. Um. So go down in history for that. Um, he said, my first question is, what would you do if fear was non-existent and failing wasn't even a possibility? Oh, fuck this guy. Oh, my <laughs> God. First of all, I can't answer this, right? If what was it again? Fear. If fear was non-existent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and failing was not a possibility. No fear, no failure. Oh. I literally do everything. 
I honestly can't answer this because the things that I would do aren't good things I should say, to be honest. I'd probably just do more, like, more. Because I feel like I'm a, I'm an adrenaline junkie that won't let himself be an adrenaline junkie. Because of fear. Because of fear. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm getting more, like, kind of like, eh, fuck it. But, um, like getting beat up by... Yeah, that very people. Yeah, it was very fun, but like, no, um, like it could be something that'd be very intimidating to a lot of people. So f- that's something that fear. Yeah, might. yeah. So I'd probably just do more like risky things. Like I'll do like, do I ever see myself doing a squirrel suit? In reality, one, I can't really afford it. It's but I would, I would see. Yeah, I'd if see I could afford saying. it, I would contemplate it. You look like you could be an adrenaline junkie. I. I feel like I'm a self-hating adrenaline. Not self-hating, but like I won't allow myself yeah, to do it because yeah, I'm cause too scared. It, but at the yeah. same time, I really, you really want to do it. You but there's, like I'm it. just like, no, but what about the risks? But at the same time, because I know myself, once I get to that point, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. And I just do it anyways. Yeah. But uh, I'd probably be more of an adrenaline junkie now. And then if there's no failure... Yeah, I would just uh, yeah, I would just be live a very fuck it lifestyle, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. Like, like yeah. I, you guys both know. I, I think you know this, Des, but like, I've wanted to go skydiving for mm-hmm. a long time. For me, it's not about the fear of it though. It's because like, for the longest time, I really wanted to go with someone, and everyone I've asked would be like, "You're crazy," and I'm like, "Well," and like, I came to the mental state where like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it on my own. So it's like things like that, like, but not even just adrenaline based. Like, I feel like I would, I'd pursue, like, things that are, like, seemingly, like, dreams. Like, I would mm. lean into, like, acting more and, like, do those things because, like, failure is not an option. Like, and I you're know not I'm afraid. Gonna... To, yeah. Right. Mm. You know, and that's the thing. A lot of the time people are afraid of failing. failure. Mm. It's not even that, like, the thing is what scares them. It's failing at the thing mm-hmm. that is scary. So, like, little things like that. I would travel. I would see everything, do everything. Like, literally, I would just everything i do i would just do it extra because mm-hmm. i know that like the reward is going to be so good there's no there's no i'm not afraid to do it and there's no failure that makes sense. i would like throw myself into like like relationships with like friends and just people you know what i mean because mm-hmm. like when meeting new friends or like meeting people in general you're like oh is this person gonna hurt me is this person gonna backstab me like you kind of are reserved but if i'm like this is gonna be a successful friendship then like boom I like you. I'm going to pursue this friendship mm-hmm. with you because, like, you're a cool person, you know? Yeah. What about you, Desi? <laughs> um, you're like, I do nothing differently. <laughs> it, it, pretty much. Um, there's nothing, like, what you guys are saying, adrenaline-wise or stuff like that, like, even the friendship thing. Like, n- that stuff I don't fear. Anything I've wanted to do, I've already did. Minus go to Italy, but that's only because I decided if and when I do get married, that's going to be where my honeymoon is and nowhere else. I don't care what she has to say about anything. Um, I don't care. <laughs> not getting married then. <laughs> We're not on the same page. Um, <laughs> For the honeymoon? <laughs> yeah. Other than that, there's nothing like I don't want to go skydiving, deep snorkeling. I don't whatever these things is snorkel you mean deep diving oh that's what it's called because the snorkel you have to be close to you the see surface. what i'm saying I, yeah. I have no interest in these things you i wouldn't drown. you'll drown if you <laughs> go deep snorkel. i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't air. travel i wouldn't i don't know i don't want to do things um but for the question's sake i would just flirt with different types of girls because there's girls that i look at that i'm like <laughs> out of my league i'm not even gonna try i would definitely do it Failing is not an option. Yeah. I also want to add, I would definitely um, put effort and resources into certain um, things that can help other people. So like research for like cancer, multiple sclerosis, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Things that can really benefit other people. And then also um, like, you know, when people do like, like when you like sponsor like a child well not a child i meant like a family like for christmas and like help people out like locally mm-hmm. i want to do like help homeless youth because like what we don't people, what's that have to do with failure and fear because it's a big undertaking oh. and like there's these are things that i've wanted to do but it's like i can't do it right now i don't have the resources i i, I wouldn't be successful at it i don't do it because i would fail at it at this point mm-hmm. so those are things that i would pursue knowing that i would be successful at it does that make sense i guess so Well, I mean, to do these things, you need resources, right? If uh, but I just don't know what that, what that has to do with fear and failure. Because did, right now, if she were to try to do it right now, mm. it wouldn't be successful. And you don't want to try and help. doing it, it's good. 
Yeah, but you don't want to try and help support people. And then you're like, oh, sorry, I can't. Yeah, thoughts aren't going to help people get off the street. Thoughts aren't going to put food on someone's table. Oh, thoughts will get them off the street. (laughs) (laughs) I see what you did there. That's how you make that mama. She below. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) We're getting her off the street. I forgot. Sorry. We're getting her off the street. You know what I mean? It's not so much the fear thing, it's the failure part for that one. So it's like you don't want to bring someone else into your mix yeah, if you're gonna you're fail you're bringing joy it. to someone's life just to be like oh sorry um, so I helped you this one time but I cannot help you anymore cause I can't do it my bad yeah so it's like if I knew that I could like really and truly impact these people I wouldn't hold back because that I, I would be able to do it so little things like that let me Last question number two number two okay he said my second question is this oh <laughs> oh this is kind of like your question does he said there are 15 minutes left until all life is wiped off of earth what do you do and since i feel like Hugh's going to want the reason for all life is ending <laughs> it's because a huge asteroid is hitting earth 15 minutes that's hard i don't know 15 minutes i'd masturbate one last time <laughs> come on come on I swear to god come come on I swear to God. I think that's sad. Minutes. The reason why is die in pleasure, man. I don't like sad things. <laughs> I don't I like. I don't want so 15 so minutes left, and I'm scrambling off. around wondering, like, oh my God, who did I talk to? Who didn't I see last? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I I don't like that. I think I uh, I think I'll just whoever is next to me just, just whatever. Like, exactly. Just, if you're in the house, together, you're in bro. the house. Whatever. If I ever see like someone else beside me, like, yo, let's just die together, bro. And that's all it, it is. is. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like the panic behind certain mm-hmm. things. Trying to get as peaceful as possible. If yeah. it's all like, no, I mean, honestly, all I like, would, like I said, like I said with your answer, just my mom and my dog. Yeah, that makes sense. Cuddle my doggy and cry. No, not even oh. cry. It's well, gonna be like because if you know you have 15 minutes, you're yeah. really counting down the time whether you physically are doing it or not. True. There might be a few tears. It's not gonna be a ball. Like, it will no, be, it's a gonna ball. be like you know it's what? Be a it will be a ball. Joe, it will be a. It will be a ball. I know I would... you. It would be a ball. You would squeeze both of them and ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not like that. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's how I would have to. Damn. 15 minutes, yeah. Really nihilistic there, Muddy. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. He's like, did you say what you would do, Hugh? Oh, yeah, you said you just grab the closest person. Like, up, bro? Let's die together. Yeah, nigga. but that's assuming that they have no one with you. Like, I want to be with my family. You Go, have no away. one with It's 15 minutes, bro. The, you're not making it to nobody. Yeah, else. you're not what, making what it to no one. Okay. By the time you get in your minutes. house, yeah. Once I get in my car, turn, turn on! <laughs> no, not. I would assume that like I'm already at home because I never go If out. I'm at home, I'm just gonna find the next person closest. I'm gonna take my dog. But like, let's do it, bro. What about your mom? I'm like, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. You about to say the B word? No. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, see you later. <laughs> Bob. No. Bob. See you later. No. It's a, yeah, I guess if it depends where, where where I am. If I'm at home, I'd be like, well, let's just watch this. Let's go on the roof and just watch this thing come down. If I'm like in the city of, I'll just grab a motherfucker and be like, "We're dying together, bud." <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna waste my time with calling because like the no, I can't. The atmosphere yeah. By the time burn up the power lines, anyways. <laughs> and we'll probably die before the asteroid. Hit. Well, it depends where the asteroid is going. Honestly, I'd probably want to. I, I don't See, know. See, it's funny because Mikey knew that you would like fixate on like the how we're dying part yeah, that's yeah. why you put but it I'm, I'm trying to think like would I want to kill myself before it hits oh boy Jesus. because it, no no but no but dead ass like it's not it's not a good death you're gonna burn alive well no if it hits you're just gonna be crushed immediately if it's, well, like, it depends a like hit, I said where it depends where it's hitting if it's hitting like in like fucking Tahoe true then well, you're gonna burn to death if it's gonna like well it depends on how big it is it's the size of Texas that, that, we would burn yeah oh. Where we are, if it hit like Tahoe or some shit, yeah. But like that's like a bomb going off and like you the the blast, but like it, it will still kill you instantly. No, no, we're, we're here in Canada. Mm. We're gonna feel it. We're gonna hear it. We're gonna yeah. see the asteroid coming. I imagine yeah, like it's being gonna crushed. get so much darker. We're gonna be like, oh, isn't it like one p.m.? Like what's going on? Yeah. Why is it so dark? Oh, oh right, <laughs> we got fifteen minutes left. Nuke it. And Actually, it. it's thirteen. <laughs> Do you hear that siren? That sounds like um the what was that movie? It's not that siren. Um, <laughs> that scary movie, but it's not scary. There's an asteroid purge, coming. Purge. Yeah, purge. Because in my head, I'm saying plague, <laughs> and I'm like, it's not the plague. But he was making that noise, and it <laughs> was throwing me off. 
But yeah, so Mikey That's says, anyways, one. guys, that is it. I hope that all made sense, and I hope that wasn't too depressing. Yeah, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I tried plenty of ways to try to make it not as depressing, and it sounds like I... <laughs> It failed. <laughs> as, as depressing as it sounds, and I feel like that is the best I can do. That's all. Thanks, guys. First of all, I don't think that was depressing at all. Nah, I'm just fucking with them. I think you're... No, I'm not addressing you. I'm addressing him. <laughs> Who's making that noise, Eugene? My butthole. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, hey, guys, how you doing? Can I join? No, I really liked your um your it's answer me. about the hardest truth, Mikey. Cool. Um, it's, it's a reality that I think a lot of people have yet to realize. What? Because a lot of... like. When you're living your own life, the world really does revolve around you because you're in your own mind. Everything does revolve around you. But, like, when you can step outside of that and realize that it really doesn't, like, you are a... Did you just fart, Eugene? No, I just that's your dog. That was your dog. Stepped out. No, no, not the noise. I meant the face you No, I stepped out into reality. Oh, that was you stepping out of your... (laughs) Stepping out. Yeah, now the delusion into reality. Um, Cold, hard world. No, but it's true. It's like... Everyone sees themselves as a main character, but it's like, you're not. Are you? Uh Are you really in control of your life? I am by far not. (laughs) I am by far not. It's okay. Because when somebody needs me, I'm there, even if I mentally don't really want to be there. But that's almost like the question that Mikey asked in the past when he was like, oh, do you want, would you rather be the director director or or the actor? Because like, in control versus like, you know, out there living it. Mm -hmm. Look at this full come full circle with the Mikey question. Full compass. You know what? <laughs> the next time you stutter, hey, it's I just karma. To, you you mocked him for so long for saying majority. It was one word, but that's not a stutter. I mean, how many that times was how you he mocked him for? It? That's just how when I pronounce I mis- the word. No, when I mispronounce the word, he calls me out too, though. Yeah, I don't call you out. You're stuttering. I don't stutter. Mm, you do when you get like really like <laughs> excited about something. Um. Okay. What is next? Okay. And again, for everyone listening, if you have a question or something that you want to share with us, it's thissquareroom.com slash ask. Or if you're just on our website, it's the ask us tab. So there is a story that I saw and like, I feel like it's kind of brilliant. Let me pull it up real quick because it just closed. Why did that happen? Get your shit together, man. It closed. Okay. So um, a man from China bought a first class airplane ticket um and it came with access to like a vip lounge and it has free food it's and everything a lounge in a plane no mm-hmm. like before you no like in the I airport know Emirates has that kind of lounge in a plane thing a, a lot of uh, a lot of them do i think this was an air uh, china flight air china yes mm-hmm. um so but what he did was because so he has a ticket and with the ticket comes access to the vip lounge with the free food so what he was doing was rescheduling and in a span of a year, he rescheduled over 300 times and he got to enjoy over 300 meals, free meals. And then I guess they investigated it and it was found out that after he ate, he would change his reservation to a later date so he didn't have to like actually get on the plane. And it's then just after the next date, he would... This long to realize that? Yeah. That's kind of sad. And then he finally canceled his ticket and got a full refund. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Mm-hmm. Now, a smart man. my brain kind of sometimes does math. 300 times in the span of a year leaves 65 days where he did not do this. Yeah, because maybe sometimes- nobody thought it was strange. Not one person who worked on Monday came to work Wednesday and was like, yeah, but hmm. maybe they don't know where he's flying to. So it could have just been like a quick flight, come back, like, you know. But they do know because he has to cancel it and rebook again. No, but like, I mean, the staff in the lounge don't know about the yeah, booking. No, that could be just the guy who No, but I mean, the guy who, like, the person who keeps rebooking him. Bro, they don't give no, a but shit. you can do it online, probably. That is crazy. 300 yeah. times and now you guys want to physically... rave a red flag? <laughs> Why? Because he canceled now? It's bad, but like, it's kind of genius, especially since he yeah. got his... um. I don't need it. <laughs> Especially since he got his like a full, a full refund. refund. That's crazy. <laughs> Smart man. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Smart man. VIP. I wonder what else is in that lounge. Smart man. I don't need it. It's right here. It's a smart man. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, uh, a different man in China. Um, a different man in China. He. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm like nervous. <laughs> I just <laughs> like people do things and you're like, why would you think to do that? 
But it's like you can't put anything past people. So he was feeling very constipated oh, for man. a couple of weeks. I feel that pain. S- a couple of weeks. That's weeks. no good. So I need to go to the hospital. He decided oh, no. he's going to buy an eight inch eel and stick it up his rectum. I've seen this in the porn. To what? what? You see this in the Japanese porn. Except she put eels in her cooch and then just shot it out. It's Japan. What do you guys? Why are you guys shocked? Oh my god! You pictured it. Oh my god! You I was picturing. That? I was curious. I was disgusted. I I'm disgusted it. at you. Yeah. Why? Oh my god! Why? Because you watched a woman put eels up her coochie. I Hugh. see it was blurred. I seen the girl who put. They always blur it. Oh my know, god! Man. It's like, come on, let me see. It. Like, come on, we're we're this far. I know it's hairy, but let me <laughs> like, see let's it. get it together. It's practically halfway. Censored. Come on, jeez. Ugh. But yeah, so he. You know, I kind of thought that before too. I'm like, if you have a full bush, isn't that kind of a? Sensitive? It is. It's a centered coach. a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's survived. I mean, not a full centered. He's but like, went to the hospital. It is centered. He's went to the hospital. Yeah, and got the eel out. Yeah. Oh. Could you imagine being like this? Like, was it still alive when it came out? Oh, I don't know that much. Oh God, my butthole like... hurts. <laughs> but like, could you imagine just an eel up there, just like squirming? Yeah, was, at... I guess he oh! thought it was eight like... inch. Yeah. Eight Long. Inch, man. Are they thick? Ugh, I don't have the picture that I saw. I don't like that. An eel is an eel at the end of the day. He could have said a goldfish. I'd be like, ew. Because mm. oh to me, like, when. How do you get it in there? When thing, he probably just forced it up there. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm done with this story. I can't. I'm actually so cleansing my, my, also, my Yeah, my he butt. probably, like, <laughs> lubed up his butt. You didn't have to. But if it was alive Open when he put it up there. Yeah. So, what? This, that's. Call PETA. What? <laughs> PETA doesn't give a shit. Call somebody. <laughs> Call Animal control. Yeah. Who's, who's PETA? PETA? <laughs> yeah. The the pet, the people that care about animals. Oh, is it? Care okay. About animals. When you guys said PETA, I was like, okay, obviously not, you know, like Katniss Games? Everdeen. PETA! <laughs> wow. PETA! I, I can't believe that's what you're doing. PETA, give him some bread, PETA. I thought it was like, haha, call PETA. You know, maybe there's something in the book that I missed. You didn't read the book. You saw I the movie. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to say book, Joe. Jesus, leave me alone. Shit. No, oh, Peter. Why people think he reads a book? Yeah, no, nah, everyone listening knows he does, doesn't read. He no. spends all his time watching porn Unless and it's anime. erotica. I will read erotica. Oh, God. No, I'm pretty sure it stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Oh, P-E-T-A. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, they're dicks. And yeah, they usually are. Yeah. Oh, God. Why'd you have to share that story? I, just, You're uh, the one still I thought about, about you. Actually. Yeah, because I'm scarred. It's okay. Hugh, scars heal. Eventually. Hugh, what do you have? Give me, give me something to get my mind off of that. Uh, well, I have another eel up the ass story. Um, <laughs> no. Is this one you this time? Yes. Um, <laughs> no, I was just shocked. I was looking at what the world want, languages the world want to learn. And obviously North America's Languages pretty... the world want to learn? Yes, the world. There's multiple <laughs> worlds. You, that's what we you live said. in a multiverse. <laughs> I said what I, I mean, said. we do. I said what I said. Spider-Man. So. I believe it. I was shocked. Like, obviously North America's pretty obvious Japanese. Um, North America yeah, like, is not a country and it's not a world either. So we're talking about continents. Why are you doing that? Your eyeball. You okay? <laughs> why, are you, why are you winking? Are you squinting? What are you doing? You got paralysis or some shit? <laughs> Fuck. Both of you guys need to. First of all, when you when you oh, when no, 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 I hate you guys. Fucking stuts here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Both of you guys can kiss my ass. I'm done. You please continue. Yeah. So Canada and uh, America. You want to learn Japanese. I think it's pretty obvious. North America is not just Canada and the U.S. No one gives a fuck about the rest of the part of it. Where's the He's other part? Lying. Like Greenland? No, in the Greenland. That's not North America. Yeah. So the well, fact that you else? don't even who know. Else? Who else? Mexico. Mexico. Do we care? Uh, it's Central America. Yeah, we call it Central America. Yeah, it is Central America. Who is America. we? We, the rest of us. Um, Idiots. I am fine with that. Uh, what should we call it? Jamaica. What was Jamaica? Where's Jamaica? Where's Jamaica? Jamaica threw me off. What was it? Jamaica was English. No. But it didn't make sense to me. I was like, but you already speak English. <laughs> oh, you know why? Because people don't consider it English. So maybe they're just saying they want to speak properly. Mm. My, no. I was listening to my grandma. She left a voice message uh, when she called me. And I'm listening. Guyana, it's English. Because they don't speak properly. <laughs> so they would like to speak properly. Because <laughs> when they talk to regular people, because Jamaicans aren't regular people. I don't care what anybody says. When you speak to regular people, they sound like you and I. Yeah. But when you talk to Jamaicans, to them it is English, but nobody understands them. Hmm. So, of course, they and then they put on this stupid white people voice when they talk. Ugh. 
Hello, my dear. <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. Uh, Everything is all right. Hello. Oh, boy. Hello, it's me. I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't like that one, Joe. Huh? Not at all. <laughs> it's okay. Because he's trying to, I think, it's like the queen, but like. It's not when, the queen. It's not the queen. they're from Jamaica. Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. No, Hello. but it's like, you know what? It's because every time Hugh does an impression of anything, even when he, like, you impersonated what your penis would sound like, which makes no sense, but you're like, hello, it's me. Like, you it's always me, say like, the and then you say what it is. Hello. <laughs> it's me. The would you like a tip? <laughs> <laughs> I see what he did there. That was a good one. You, you're on a roll today. Mm, he's on something. Would you Maybe. like a protein shake? <laughs> All right. What else? Oh, Other countries? Yeah. Chile wants to learn Korean. Uh, Can I just say, I'm surprised that for here it's not um, like Cantonese instead of Japanese. No one gives a shit. No I'm one. just I'm Anime, surprised. bro. Oh, my God. Surprise is not packed well. Anything else? A lot of it's just English. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of it's just English. Australia is also Japanese. Uh, Fiji is Hindi, Ooh. which I was just like, okay. Their culture. Uh, yeah, a lot of it is just Japanese, Japanese, some Arabic in the Arabic places. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, that was really no, okay. Yeah, but Nicaragua was Spanish, but I was like, don't you already speak Spanish there? Yeah. And same thing with like Panama and uh, El Salvador, or Ecuador, not Ecuador, not El Salvador. But I was like, oh, yeah. And in Venezuela, it's Italian. Oh, I love that. So it's very, and it's like, that's not hard. It's both Latin languages. Uh, it's Venezuela. Either. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, before we wrap things up, I actually have a little story for you guys about uh, Mr. Jeff Big Money Bezos. Big Dick Bezos. <laughs> the fact that you guys said that in Get unison. It Did you see a spaceship? It was a big old dick. Blue <sighs> dick. That's what he called his spaceship. Well, he has world. been investing, I believe, um, I mean, I'm, I don't know how much, but I'm sure billions because he has it. He's investing in anti-aging startup labs. And the scientists in these labs are going to have a salary of a million dollars. And the purpose is to research on how cells age and how to reverse them. So, like, Daddy Bezos is trying to make us live forever. And, like, I'm, I'm here that's, for it. Gross. I mean, no. <laughs> this is something you'll you'll just look younger, but you're still No, no, no. Re- if you're reversing your cells, they're no longer aging. So you, uh, you mm. won't die of old age, at least. Yeah, yeah but you're still going to die. Something that, yeah, we've been doing this for like a, year, for a couple of years now. You're not immortal. No, you're... true. I do know that is a thing, but like yeah. he's now investing, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. But we're, like we're, a one million poor, dollar salary? All the poor people are going to die. Like, damn, can I be on your research? I mean, I'm not a scientist, but like... I can Shit, like, I can clean up. I can, like, <laughs> I can sweep a floor. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll wash a peach dish. Shoot, pay me, pay, pay me half of that. I'll sweep, I'll clean, I'll, mm. I'll run and get Don't your coffee. Don't lower your standards. Okay, I want the full salary. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that's the girl that only gets half. But yeah, no, it's funny because I <laughs> no, um, when you guys, well, when Mikey brought up big money, big, big, big D, I don't want to say it. Big dick, Bezos. <laughs> why, why don't you want to say it? I don't know. It's just dick. I'm a lady. I don't. I don't speak that way. <laughs> Cut to like another episode where I'm like, I got an boy. iron asshole, boys. <laughs> Okay, just come like, on in. My butthole's not leaking all the time like you are. I didn't say come <laughs> on in to my asshole, QG. You don't know that. I do know that. Sure I didn't say that. that. What? Okay. Right. <laughs> Y'all stay trying to put words in my mouth. God dang cornhole. You stay not using words. Jeez, speak properly. Get it together. Maybe you should learn English too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe you should learn English too. Hi, okay. I'm upstairs, man. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. You can find us no, at This Square Room on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, we upload weekly, so please be sure to, you know, tell a friend, tune in every single week, and we will see you next Tuesday. Mm-hmm.